Welcome students, I am going to explain you how to navigate on the website of educator. Go to the URL learn.asdiglearn.com slash org slash diksha network. The website works best with Google Chrome. Press enter. On the web page, at the top right corner, you will find the login button. Click on login. Feed in your 10 digit SIP number, followed by the password that was shared with you. To make sure you have entered the correct password, click on show password and then press login. So the first page opens up with home and recent activity. The page that you are looking at is the recent activity page where students and teachers can post comments. Let's go to the library where the entire content resides. Click on library. Once you are in library, you can go to the drop down menu over here. Click on it and you will find two modules. One is the learning module and other one is the video module. Let's select the learning module. Within the learning module, let's select the subject physics. You can see there are various tabs. One is modules, the other one is tests, documents, videos, assignments, files and questions. All the content resides in the modules section. So click on modules. Here you will find modules of respective chapters. Let's go to a particular chapter, say current electricity. Here I'll explain you the structure of the chapter. First is the standard NCRT textbook. Let's open the textbook. So you'll get the standard NCRT textbook as a PDF on educator. Let's go back. Next material that you get is the PU question bank. This will help you prepare for the PU exam. After NCRT textbook and the PU question bank, the lectures for the chapter starts. Every lecture has a lecture PPT and an ACE book associated with it. Let's open a lecture PPT. Let's go back. Now let's open the ACE book. Let's go back. You can notice as I'm opening the documents, it says red and the documents which are not open says must read. If we scroll down further, you can see every lecture is named by the content it has. For example, lecture 4 is having energy and power. Lecture 5 discusses about current electricity. This helps you in going to the relevant topic in an easy manner. Starting lecture 15, you can see the lecture is tagged with this label of G advanced. This is where the competitive material is starting and till lecture 14 you have the PU material. With the start of competitive material, every lecture will then have a homework associated with it. A homework is a test. Let's take the test. So this homework has 10 questions and 10 marks are allotted to it. Total time available to take this test is 40 minutes. Keep in mind you can take a test only once. Agree to the policy. On the top right you will see that the countdown has started. The test will automatically close at 40 minutes. Read the question carefully, mark the answer and select save and next. If you don't know the answer for a particular question but you want to revisit it later, you can mark the question for review. As soon as you mark the question for review, the color of that question changes. Further, you can just skip the question if you don't know the answer. Similarly, take the test and once you have attended to all the questions, then you can end exam. As soon as you complete your test, immediately you get the score, the rank and what was your accuracy. Further, you can see your answers. Go to your answers, click on question view. Here you can see what are the correct answers, which answer you chose and what is the solution for that question. For example, in question number 1, I have chosen answer B whereas the correct answer is A. Let's see the solution for this answer. Click on solution and you will get to see the solution for that answer. You can go to result sheet to compare a rank with peers. Let's go back to the same chapter. Once you have taken the test, it shows attempted. You can revisit the test to see your marks, but you cannot retake the test. If you scroll down, you will see the chapter gets over at lecture number 25. Then you get to see the assignments. Assignments are tests which are further tagged as a standard, moderate and advanced. Also note that each assignment is further tagged with the lecture number. For example, this assignment should be taken only if you have covered lecture 6 to lecture 16. Whereas 
This assignment can be taken if you have covered from lecture one number one to lecture number six. Further, if you scroll down, the assignments get over, and at the end of the chapter, you have a chapter test. This is the end of chapter test, which will help you prepare for the competitive exam. Let's go back to library. Now we'll select video modules. Here again, you will find various tabs: modules, tests, documents, videos, assignments, files, and questions. But the entire content will be available in the modules section. Periodically, chapter videos will be published under the modules section. Once you are in the video modules, keep in mind that the entire content for the videos are published under the modules section. The videos are not available in the videos section, whereas it is available under the modules section. Let's go back to home. Let's explore the tabs available on the left panel. So, recent activity. is where the general comments are posted whereas the doubt section has questions related to the subject you can go to any particular doubt you can answer the doubt and also you can follow the doubt let's go back to a doubt plus you can post your own doubt go to ask a doubt fill in the relevant fields the title what is the doubt you can add a formula else you can add an image from your computer select the respective tags for the subject and the topic and post the doubt your doubt will be posted here and will be visible to all the educator users let's go to people here you will find your peers then let's click on reports reports are available for the tests that you have already taken you can generate a report for a test that you have already taken let's generate a report select the campus select the section select the subject select the chapter Select the test for which you want to generate the report, and click Generate Report. An Excel file will be generated, which will have the complete information for the test that you have taken, which will have the complete information about your performance in the test, and also a comparison with the class. Please go through the Excel sheet for detail. Keep in mind the reports functionality is available only on the website. reports functionality is not available on the android mobile app further you can go to the analytics section here you can find which tests you have taken and how was your performance for any doubts and clarification please reach out to our educator support number which is 7760995061 else you can write an email to us at educatorcare@aceonline.co.in thank you